So now we we'll continue and do some clash detection on here. We're going to detect um, basically walls with columns and see if there's anything clashing. Okay, let's do it. So as I was saying earlier on, make sure this uh, the home tab, the clash detective is on, and there it is. Um, I, I clicked add test, and, I and it comes up with test one. And then I'll just rename it, for example, walls versus um, you know, columns, anything like that. So you know what it is. All right, so there it is. All right, so we've done that. Uh, so what you see here where it, when you come in, it goes into the select tab. There's other tabs as well, like rules and results and reports, okay? So under the select tab is where we need to be. We can um, minimize this or not, no. We'll make this bigger, that's all right. Um, oh, just trying to, oh, there you go. We can minimize that. It gives us a bit more room, more room here, but just by clicking this button here. So I can go into one side and say, they're identical, this one's, you know, side A and side B, or selection A, selection B. And I'm gonna go down to ground floor and I'm going to grab all the walls. I'm going to the top layer. I'm not going, for example, right down to, you know, just the brick veneer walls or anything like that. I just want to check against any wall with any column, all right? So I'm at a higher level there rather than getting right down here, all right? And then down here on the other side, we're going to go ground again, and we're going to check any um, structural columns. There you go. For sure. If I go right into it, you'll see that uh, we have only, come on, we've got five columns in here anyway. It's a very basic thing, you know, but it's good to get your head around how it works, okay? So, again, I'm just going to, no need to go other way down. I want to check any structural column, and I could have had a number of different ones under there. All right, let me just minimize this back a bit so it's a bit uh, plainer. All right. So we're checking walls, uh, checking the walls against the structural columns. And if I, um, I'm not able to, let me just pin this here for a minute. No, oh, you can't see something under here, which is basically the run the testing. Let's see if I can take it out, there you go. All right, here you go. There, you can see that there. Down here we have also de different detections. You can have hard, hard conservative, <laughs> uh, or duplicates. Usually we've got hard in this instance. And torrenting, if it's within one millimeter, for example, you can change that as well. If it's like within 10 millimeters, I wouldn't care. We can probably move something out of the way, so it doesn't matter. So you can probably change the torrenting depending what you're doing. You know, like uh, if it was copper piping, for example, well, yeah, you know, like you can probably bend it around something, you know, maybe 50 millimeters. Who knows, you know? So that sort of thing might not matter. So, um, so you can exclude things that are maybe. Uh, too close. Here we're excluding things that are within one millimeter of clashing, but we can make it even tighter and make it zero. Totally, totally intolerant <laughs> of any clashing. All right, <laughs> all right. So um, if I run the test now, let's see what we get. Oh, okay. All right. As expected, I've got five clashes. All five columns are clashing with something. The question is, does it matter? You know, you can look at it and decide there and then. You know, you could decide. Um, okay, how am I looking at it? Yes. Yep. Um, how does it determine um, whether it's clashing? Stop um, this over here. Crosses over, or it's in its way, or oh yeah, when it when it crosses, it, it detects it is clashing when it's touching it or going through it or in it or you know, if it's any physical, anything physical, like I guess in uh, embedded in something else, for example, yeah. Now you can see this here now. Um, I'll just um, unpin that. Yeah, that's exactly right. Yeah, yeah, right. All right, there you go. So you can see over here, if I just minimize this a bit, uh, just do it like that. All right, so if I click over here, I can just zoom in here, and you can see where this is clashing. So, for example, that is a that was built as a wall, that that bit there. That's why it's detecting it. Uh, that, that, um, yeah. Well, this is just a little infill, basically, but it's basically a wall. Uh, entity, so you can see the column is going through there, and uh, you, yeah, probably that needs to be looked at. Probably want to bring the column, cut cut it back down to here, perhaps with some sort of a plate on top or something. I'd say. So you look at it and say, okay, well, what should I do with that? Shall I say it's okay and I'll approve it, or you know, is it something for, maybe it's something to be reviewed for later on? You know, so or is it resolved? You know, so let's say we'll, we'll, 
you know, it's been reviewed, we looked at it, and you know, it might be okay or whatever. So, and you can take, as you can see here, you can take a little snapshot of it, um, and uh, that usually will create a, um, a save viewpoint. Bottom right, is it? Bottom right? Oh, here? Oh, yeah, there. Is it? Yes, there you go. So, yeah, if I go there, and then theory, if I go back there, oh. Maybe I don't know where it is, but anyhow, um, that's that's it, it works in a funny way actually. That anyway, um, if I get some clash, you can right click and go on the clash there. Um, if I go to the next one, it shows me it's the other side of it, it's the same same deal. Then this is the other ones that were embedded before inside this thing, and you couldn't see them. Uh, here's here's one of them, and the other one is actually over here. So if I click there. Um, you might have to swing around and find it. It's not all that clever, but it sort of shows you. And five words, five words, that middle column there. It's another, that one of the, oh, come on. Why is it not working? Oh, uh, there. All right, so that's all the clashes we found, and you can uh, do certain things with them, and with your little exercise, you you know, you get you do a number of things if you review them or say if I, if I approve one of them is okay um, or resolved. See, I can come back and, um, and refresh this test run now. And, um, you know, it, it gives them different colors depending what they are as well. All right, so that's basically a clash. So what I'd like to do is actually let you have a go at this and then we'll look at the clashes in uh, a couple of other software as well and see how they work. And um, yeah, I'll, li I'll leave it at that unless there's any other questions. No? No? All good? Yeah. All good. All right, let's. Uh, no, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Where is the thing? Let's try again. Here it is. Stop recording.